Okay, guys, so we're starting this video off with a Amazon haul. My girlfriend already opened the box just to make it like easier. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. All right, ready? Oh my God. Switching on immediately. I wish you guys saw her face. Wait, I'm gonna show you guys the one we have. So you wanna switch it? We're switching them. Okay, let me go grab it. This is one we have now. We can just use the new one for garlic and peppers. This one? Yeah. Okay, like she infused wants- Infused oil. Yeah, she wants to do like infused oil. So this is just a little, you know, you guys. Isn't this the cutest thing? And then this goes in there and then you just pour. So when we infuse oil, I'll definitely make sure to vlog that. There's something else in the box. Okay. Like, and I don't know if you guys know this, which I'm sure you guys do. I won't be staying here forever. We're actually gonna be moving out of state. <laughs> and it's like all of these things we would buy then to like start a new place together. Like I moved in here with a completely other girlfriend. So <laughs> we're finally now like getting rid of old, bringing in new to create a life together. And we both really like organizing. We both have like pretty much the same aesthetic, etc., etc. So we're just getting it all done now. So this is because this on the counter is not aesthetic, but this is, oh. it says dishes. So you put the soap in there and it'll look cute on your counter. Baby, I know you didn't just explain it. So <laughs> Imagining that now. <laughs> Make fun of me. I love, I love you. So, isn't that cute? <laughs> I love. I'm gonna put some in there now. Oh, you are? Yeah. She's ready to use it now. Here we go. We are starting the dish soap process. <laughs> I want you guys to see something. She's making bread. Dirty does not let anybody hold her, but she's upset. Look at this. My girlfriend and these fur babies, it's a, it's a beautiful sight because my girlfriend's special to me and these animals are my actual life. But yeah, they're my actual life. I'm looking like a hot mess. Um, should I tell them that I... If you want to. So let's have a story time. This isn't a good angle, but I'm sick. So as you guys know, I have excoriation disorder and I pick my skin. That's why I have all this happening. And sometimes it's worse than others. I've been suffering with like really bad anxiety lately. So that doesn't help. And, um, so, I do have some areas on my leg that I do pick and I cannot control it. That's why it's called excoriation. It's so hard to say. Disorder because you literally can't control it. It's part of the OCD family and I wish that I could control it. I'm having a hard time. Um, so, I'm pretty sure one of the areas on my leg... I'm sure the way you guys are imagining it is probably worse than what it really is because I'm just bad at explaining things. But long story short, um, I have cellulitis again. And a lot of people are like, why are you getting it so often? It's because of that. Um, I do, you know, keep myself clean. I shower daily. That has nothing to do with it. I promise it does not. Um... You could be the cleanest person in the world and still get cellulitis, unfortunately. And it's easier for people to get it once they've already had it. So since, you know, first time I ever got it, I was 16. So since I've already had it, now multiple times, plus, you know, I got lymphedema and that's, you know, where I get my cellulitis is my lymphedema leg. Um, my weight does play a big role, but skinny people do get cellulitis, so I need to make that known as well. Um, so I do have a lot of things fighting against me, so that's why I've been getting it lately, but, you know, I did the whole, like, fever, I had a fever 
like shivers the whole thing but surprisingly I didn't puke this time so I'm like really glad about that um but yeah I am sick currently on antibiotics today's day three of me having cellulitis um I I didn't want to share it but it's like you know what you guys want me to be more I feel like I already am super vulnerable in my videos but you guys want that you guys want to to know like more about my life and stuff and I wasn't gonna share <laughs> because mainly because I'm embarrassed um but it is what it is it's the truth and if you see me chilling in bed that is why and this is the third day of just chilling in bed and I absolutely hate it it definitely reminds me of bed bound days like the first day it was great it was like ooh, I don't have to do anything but now I'm just like over it <laughs> like I see things around the apartment I want to do I I miss my walking I was walking daily um it was actually the last time I walked which I filmed for you guys um I noticed while walking even a little bit before walking like my leg was hurting so bad and I was like yep I know exactly what this is and then slowly it got red. Anyways, I'm rambling at this point, but um, that's what I'm going through. So yay me. It's actually my girlfriend's lunch break right now. So we're going to like play Mario Party. So Mario Party, bye. Okay, you guys. So I figured while I'm stuck doing nothing, I could be a little productive and go through all of these lipsticks. Let's be real. No human can use this many lipsticks in their lifetime. So let's dive right in. So I'm gonna just be laying them on my bed. I think I'm just gonna like color coordinate them, I guess would be the first option. I don't really know. We'll see what I decide. Okay. Oh, this is my leg by the way. Oh. It's a massive leg. Okay. Like, in some of these I've had for so long. This is probably, like, one of the most longest one I've ever had. Easily four plus years. That's a tart. So, that's, like, automatic trash. This is one of my newer ones. ColourPop Lippy Sticks. Look at that color. Gorge. Has anyone ever tried e.l.f. lipstick? Like, I've heard such mixed reviews. Like, some people hate it and other people like it. I know uh, my friend Dana said that she doesn't like them very much. I don't remember if I've ever tried it, so I will be keeping it to try it. Also, I don't know if you guys know this, but Burt's Bees for, I mean, I know years and years ago when I was, like, young, all they made really was, like, chapstick, but they make matte lipstick now. I don't know if you guys knew that. This is the color. I love this color. So while I'm organizing some more of these and separating them. Oh, okay. This one's broken. So that's going to go in the garbage. So far, that's all I've gotten rid of. I mean, just for now. Don't worry. There will be a lot more. But I want to share. Uh, I don't think I like that color. I want to share um, about my bipolar sometimes if I am like on a high or whatever, like manic, I will spend a lot of money. And a few years ago, <laughs> I went into Myers, which is a, um, it's like, it's like Walmart kind of and Target, but I would place them like. I would place that store like in between the two and okay so I've had this one forever wait no I haven't I feel like I'm distracted hold on so I went into Myers and um it was probably like 11 p.m at night and I bought almost like one of their lipsticks and like every brand um I spent over $400 on lipsticks there was at least a hundred. 
it was probably the craziest thing I've ever done besides buying like over a thousand graphic novels in just like a few week span. <sighs> See, sometimes I can handle being bipolar to an extent, but moments like that are kind of like, ooh, that's not good. So speaking of Marilyn Monroe, on Netflix, they have a new series, a documentary called The Unheard Tapes, and it's about Marilyn Monroe, and I am so excited to watch it. Okay, so I found one I want to try. Like, it's this purpley color with a bunch of glitter, and I'm just over here wondering why I bought it to begin with. I've never tried it, so... Oh, no, no, no. Mm-mm. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I'm keeping it because it also smells good. And I think with a good, like, face of makeup on, it might actually look really good. Okay, so no shade against e.l.f. I just remembered that the only lip product I've tried from them is their plumping gloss. I love e.l.f. Pretty much anything they've ever done. But their lip plumping gloss doesn't actually work. So, upon opening some more, look at the top of this one. There is a little cat. Look how adorable! Like, you pretty much even see the whiskers. Like, how cute is that? Why would I want to use it and ruin it? So, I'm a Drew Barrymore stan. So, if you guys love her like I do, um, she actually has a makeup brand called Flower. So, if you're interested, you should go get some. Can you imagine if I was sponsored by Drew Barrymore and we were actually secretly best friends? <laughs> So this one right here, the Revlon 021 Black Cherry. First of all, the packaging feels like velvet. I love it. But it is the darkest color I have. And I have never worn it. Look how dark that is. Super gorgeous though. Okay, so update. I've gone through every single one. These are my garbage. But then all these are my maybes. So... Now I'm going to go through them again. Ugh, this is actually harder than I thought it was going to be. So it's getting a lot darker in here, so don't mind the lighting. But this type of color is not good for my lips because my lips are so small. Look. It, like, makes them look like two red lines just, like, across my face, just, like, chilling, just, like, drip. I hate it. So this is definitely a no-go. Okay, so there's another one I want to try. <laughs> I like trying them. Because I'm just like, what possessed me to buy this color? For my type of lip. Like, doesn't look horrible, but I still have, like, <laughs> some from the last one I did. Wait. Wait. Keeping it with a full face, I think it would look good. Let's try one more. <laughs> it's like Barbie pink. Let's do it. I honestly love a pink lip. I'm not going to lie. Depending on the pink, uh, with like an all black outfit is like, one of my most favorite looks on myself. But this one? Ooh. Oh my god, this lighting. I look so crazy in this lighting. Mwah. So that one is going to be a no. Look how big my no pile has gotten. Oh my god. Okay, so I have these cute little containers that the ones I'm keeping, I'm going to like organize and I will show you guys when I'm done. So I'm officially finished. These are all the ones I'm getting rid of. I would love to do a giveaway, but obviously I wouldn't give the ones that I've used. I have a lot that I've never opened. 
but I feel like a lot of them are expired and I would hate to give you guys expired makeup. So I'm sorry. I do want to do a giveaway though and I'm kind of excited. And these are the ones that I kept. There is still quite a few, but not like a ton. This is just like uh, lip liners, gloss. These are like all the gloss ones. These are just the longer ones. And then these are the regular ones. <laughs> Hopefully that made sense. You know, amberisms. 